So you might be in this really weird situation where for some reason your iPhone app store just keeps telling you that it's stuck on loading whenever you're opening it up. Now this can happen for a lot of different reasons. I've been experiencing this like crazy on my particular iPhone right now and it is actually very annoying. Now the number one way to fix this is to make sure you have an iPhone cell connection or Wi-Fi connection that is very strong and fairly reliable. So what you can do here is make your way over to your settings application just like this and all you're going to want to do is you just want to make sure that your Wi-Fi connection and your cell connection are actually good and set up well. If these are not properly set up, that can be the number one main issue that you're running into here. So all you're going to want to do here is just make sure that both these, the Wi-Fi and the cell connections are set up properly. And that is basically the first thing I'd recommend doing. Because if those things are not set up properly, that is pretty much going to be the number one issue you're going to run into. Now if you're doing that and that's still not working, you may want to move closer to your Wi-Fi router or get to an area with better signal. That's another thing you can try doing as well. But if for some reason you're doing that and that's still not working, you may have to go ahead and update your iPhone. So right now on iOS 18, there's a lot of software issues and software bugs that are happening. If you're watching this on 17 or 16, then what I recommend doing is probably just updating your phone to the current generation of that version of software you're on. I wouldn't recommend iOS 18 right now unless you're watching this a year from now. But go inside of your general settings right here, click on software update, and try seeing if there is a software update available. Just go through, update your iPhone, and that's another thing you can try doing as well. If that's still not working, you can also try restarting your particular phone. So hold down the buttons you normally would to restart it, go ahead and slide to power off, and you want to see if that ends up fixing it. I think by now that should have ended up fixing it for you, hopefully. If that if none of those things still end up working, which you can always try doing as well, is to try resetting your network connection settings in your iPhone and try going from there. But those are usually the main ways to go and fix the problem for the most part. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, Solar.